morning. We're going to sleep with my hair wet. Doesn't look that bad. Hmm? Thoughts? Um, woke up around like 7.30 this morning. It was crazy. Um, and I, what did I do? I didn't do anything. I just messed around on my phone. Just really, I'm all about a lazy morning because I know that these like don't happen normally and they don't last long. So I'm trying to be like the laziest. I'm trying to wake up when I want to just not do anything. That's me. So it is 9.40 right now. Um, I signed up for a 10.30 SLT class. That's the last thing that's kind of nice. Is that it like schedule class until 10 minutes ago? And I was like, I'll do it at 10.30. All right, wearing my Dudley Stevens just because it's 20 degrees outside. Um, and we're gonna bike down per usual. I have been good. I'm not spending. I know we talked about it yesterday, um, but I did mm, 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 buy a. Uh, I bought new foundation yesterday, which I actually do not need, and I shouldn't have done it. But Tati did this review about this like really lightweight oil skin enhancing foundation. And I was like, I need that. So, but with it, I got um, a free mascara which is a mascara that i love so it's like kind of a win because that i'm actually almost out of so Let's see if these are still on okay see you guys at slt all right slt is done now i'm trying to decide if i should get an electric bike back pick up bike two blocks over if i should just get a bike over here It was a very, very cold ride. And now I'm going to make a little snack. I just had a ton of chicken nuggets. But now I want to make some like feta tomatoes balsamic. So because we're going to Vegas this week, we didn't really get a ton of groceries because we're only here half of the week. So I don't really have a ton of stuff to be eating. And I was this close to going to the little um, bodega on the corner after the bike ride and picking up like some chips. Cause you know that like solves everything. Um, I'm wearing my Navy Dudley Stevens turtleneck. And I love it. I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, a blogger friend of mine has a 15% off code that I will leave below. Um, so if you want to buy one of these as well, since they're restocked, I would definitely recommend doing that. These fleeces are a little expensive, but they are like locally sourced, made from recycled materials. They're very sustainable, sustainable fashion. So you're paying to be a better human being on earth. Oh, do you guys remember I was like telling you last week about that Netflix show that I can never remember the name of? It's called One Strange Rock and it like profiles um, some astronauts and they talk about earth and space and Will Smith um, is the narrator of it. It is so good. I got Andrew hooked on it. He definitely is like one of those people who likes those kind of things. It's a great show. You should definitely check it out. So, what I'm gonna do, my little snack. I'm gonna start editing the video, post it tonight. Andrew and I are gonna go see um, Green Book at six. So, I'm gonna try and get that done. And edit a blog post for tomorrow so I don't have anything to do tonight. So you know how like kids, as they're growing up, like eat a lot and then don't eat a lot and eat a lot and don't eat a lot because they're like growing. <laughs> Must be having a crazy growth spurt because I can't stop eating. I've had, had two eggos this morning. 
went to SLT, came back, did chicken nuggets, a banana, um, tomato and feta, another banana, more chicken nuggets, and I've been like drowning myself in water, trying to fill me up some, just not working. So I'm having some mac and cheese. <laughs> I'm starving, help. No big deal, but it's not even three o'clock and I just finished editing my video for today. So I have these, I've had these NARS things just sitting on the ground, um, waiting for me to play with them. So that's what I'm doing, if I could open it. So this is the like blush and highlight. It's a good size mirror. I know it does so much. Um, but I really wanna try out these. These lip duos. So it's a stick and a, a gloss. And I love NARS lipsticks. So I'm excited to try these out. And these look to be nudes. And if, oh, and a pink, nice. If I could find a um, nude that would go with my skin tone, I'm so here for it. Seize the colors. Horrible way of showing you, but you get the idea. So let's try this out. So I put that on pretty messy. What else is new? But that's nice, right? So this is the Velvet Matte Lip in Intriguing. And then this is the gloss that goes with it. I don't know if it's a gloss. Oh, it's a lip tint. I don't even know if you're supposed to put them together or not, but here we go. My lips are crusted. That's a nice color. That's a good, like, pinky nude, right? Also, I did my toenails. I, like, Cut them and painted them and as I was using my natural nail polish remover it like started obviously taking off my actual nail polish so I just decided that I would do them all again please hold all right and then next we're gonna try out the color sex machine and I don't know how these I don't think I I thought these like turned and that's how you got them bigger. I can't imagine shaving these down. This is like the same color as my lip. This has the color, this doesn't. So I guess that's what makes it a good nude, right? I like this a lot. Less pink, more beige. And that's intriguing. And then we'll try out the lip stain. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's a good, good color. Let me take off the mess I just made on my hand. Got a little crazy with the stain. But here's that color. I like that a lot, actually. And then we get to try out the red, which is like my very favorite. Although the lip stain looks very pink. So this does a really good job of taking off your makeup, the Mysa water. I don't like the way it tastes. Okay, this is called Dragon Girl. Definitely more pink than I was expecting. From Elisa's stick, it looked red. So because of this color, it definitely is harder to make even. Um, it definitely shows more like smudges, but it is a pretty color. It's a nice summer red. Let's try the stain. Also, a few recommendations for good cotton swabs, cotton pad things. Mine suck and they keep falling apart. Okay, this is still Dragon Girl. See, this looks much more pink than this does. Don't you agree? 
I definitely like how these lip stains go on and how they feel. Do I like Parisian? Oui, oui. Yeah, I like that a lot. I messed up the side, but ignore that. It looks good, right? So I really like all those, which is good. I really liked that middle one a lot. Just because I don't have any other colors really like it. I feel like that might be a good option for like a semi-nude. I'll definitely have to try out these blushes and whatnot when I get like foundation on. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a blog post for tomorrow um, and then schedule this YouTube video out. And just be ahead of the schedule. It's three o'clock. Let's go. All right, that lipstick kind of stained my lips. Whatever. The movie is at six. I'm gonna probably bike down there. And I just feel like doing a little something, something to my face. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I was going to write a blog post in between the last time we talked, but um, James Charles uploaded a video collab with um, David Dobrik in the vlog squad and I like love David Dobrik's channel. So I always like bring this up but for some reason I always cut it out when it actually comes like time to edit. But I watch a lot of YouTube. I love YouTube videos. Um, I watch Tati, James Charles, David Dobrik, um, Dr. Mike, Liza when she would post. Um, those are the ones that like Oh, and Jenna Marbles. Those are the ones where it's like, if they post, I like drop everything. And then the ones I'll watch if I like think the content is interesting is um, Jeffree Star, dance videos, and then just like other random. Oh, uh, Alyssa Ashley, is that her name? Oh, and Jaclyn Hill, I like Jaclyn Hill a lot. I liked her more in the past, but. So that just gave me a fresh little glow. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm just gonna Charlotte Tilbury it up. I'm gonna use the Wonder Glow, which I've never used before. Um, I feel like it's like a primer esque. It's just supposed to give you a soft little glow. And I don't know if you're supposed to put it on with your fingers or not, but here we are. This comes in the little duo um, with I think the moisturizer, moisturizer oh, that I really like. And then I'm just gonna put on a little bit of the under eye. And I'll blow this on my fingers. So just moving this product in with my fingers. And then taking the sponge and going over it. Cause I feel a little dry. I like watching David because there's not anybody really else like him on the platform. Um, I love watching Tati because I always get beauty recommendations from her and she's always like really truthful. I like watching James just because he's like an amazing artist and so I just want to literally just watch him do makeup. Um, I like Jacqueline just cause I like to see the way that she applies makeup. Um, I like Dr. Mike because he's cute and he also, I mean, is like somewhat educational. Not somewhat, he is educational. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this glow back. I feel like the Wonder Glow kind of took it away. This is like literally a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just gonna go in and powder the under eyes and then my cheeks, cause that's where I get really oily. So I told myself I would go light. And that is what we are going to do. Although this is like more product already than I was planning for. I think it's going to work. And then we're gonna go in with the beach stick and just get the cheeks. And then I'll rub that out with my finger. And this is like an extra highlight too. I just really want like a very natural looking glow. Put it right across the nose. Put it right across the nose to add a little bit of color in. This is where you would normally get like sunburnt. So just adding that in. I ordered that makeup yesterday because Tati suggested it, but it's like just basically an oil 
that you put on to help like even out your entire face. I'm really, really excited for it. I'm not going to add an eye, but I'm gonna add a little bit of brow. This is the hourglass. Just to kind of brush through and give you a little bit of color. So we're gonna go see Green Book tonight. I'm so excited. I just need to see Green Book and if Beatles Street could talk and then we will be done with Oscar movies. And they've been like good, not like amazing. Um, Andrew hasn't really liked any of them, but he doesn't usually, so that's a bad person to compare it to, or to give a review on at least. All right. It's really natural, dewy, healthy. It doesn't really look like I'm wearing any makeup, but I kind of am. That natural light. Ooh. You hear? Oh, you can really see the glow. All right, um, it is five o'clock. I am going to go get ready and I will catch you guys in a bit. All right, I added a touch of mascara and a little bit of a lip because I have a gloss on, it's like a little hard. All right, now I'm gonna head out. I'll see you guys in the movies. All right, we just got home. It is 8.42. Um, we saw Green Book and it was so cute. Definitely like one of my favorites I saw so far this year. It was awesome. I love Mahershala Ali. Um, it was just a really great movie. Not like we, as you're talking about it, we're like, it's not groundbreaking or anything, but it doesn't need to be. It was just a good movie. It was like a movie that you would just see and enjoy on its own, not just because of the fact that it's an Oscar movie. I feel like sometimes Oscar movies are a little bit too pretentious anyway. Um, this was not, and it was so cute. So, um, I'm going to publish my video for tonight. I need to post a Facebook and Instagram, a Facebook and Twitter post for Nordstrom, um, and then send it over to my campaign manager. And then we're having fish and mac and cheese for dinner. More mac and cheese. And then I'll probably, we'll probably watch SNL. I'll do a blog post and I will check in with you guys before I head off to bed. All right. Heading to bed. It's 12:20. Um, I got up a post about white dresses, and they're like surprisingly really hard to shop for. So I rounded up like 15 pretty good ones, um, and we would just watch This Is Us um, after dinner. Did I even film dinner? I don't think I did. We had fish, asparagus, and couscous. So I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow.